have learned diversification of income sources is the way to go, given that numbers of tourists fluctuate often and their income is also at stake. As a means of helping locals maximize on land use in the conservancies, the Band Initiative came in with a beef farming model that integrates a ranching model right inside the conservancies. Today makes the first time for cattle keepers who gave some of their steers or castrated bulls, 300 in total, for the pilot phase to track the progress. Here, every bull has to be weighed to see how much it has gained ever since it was introduced. Ranchers from Olpegeta in Laikipia are attempting to introduce lessons learned there to the Mara. In my view, the Mara receives double the rainfall of Olpegeta. So it's highly favorable for really productive uh, beef production. Locals here have for ages kept zebu cattle. While hardy and well adapted to local environmental conditions and resistant to disease, the zebu is hardly big enough for a viable commercial beef enterprise. The most important is the genetics of the cattle are not good enough here to, to get the weight gains that you require. The heaviest of the lot today tips the scales at 399 kilos. The rest barely made it past 300 kilos, while many were in the 180s bracket. Iliwanona ni meatatu tisini na tisa ni crossbreed. Baba yake ni burani ya old budgeta. Ile ya mbeku yuko tafauti sana. Kuhusa ngombe moja ya mbeku, kuhusa ile si mbeku, pesa ayuwezi kufatana. Money is where tempers can flare up and the band initiative has come up with a formula to take care of eventualities after farmers have let their cattle join the herd. Na hiyo skimu wakati anafika hapa, wana pair kilo mia moja shilingi na kumi. So hivyo kama ngombe nangia kilo mia mbili, wa hiyo manyewe atapata 22,000. The bulls are also weighed on a monthly basis and the extra kilos gained are considered the profit. This is split between the project management and land owners where the conservancy is situated. The owner of the bulls gets 50% of these extra kilos in addition to what the bull initially cost. Now this cattle bomber, for instance, houses about 300 heads of cattle. But again, it sits right in the middle of Mara North Conservancy, which faces a constant danger of uh, attacks from wild animals. How then do managers of this project factor in that threat? Ukijaribu kuona kutupa macho wako pale, boma ambayo tukonaye uko, ni boma ambayo tunasema ni predator proof. Tumeiweza kuweka sekingi, ina suiliwa muzuri, kwa sababu hawezi ingia kwa hiyo. Currently, the Mara North Conservancy area covers about 60,000 acres, with experts estimating the area has potential of comfortably holding 12,000 heads of cattle. In Pardamat Conservancy within the Mara, the same innovative approach to land use is taking shape. We have 50 heads of steers, uh, and we envision to upscale this uh, cattle enterprise to up to 2,000, depending on the size of land that we will be able to secure, because it's also dependent on the land size. With this commercial approach towards integrating wildlife, land use, and cattle keeping, the hope is generating sustainable livelihoods through an approach local communities are familiar with, cattle keeping. Mark Namaswa, KTN News. Now let's get to some international news where two recent polls show that Wales 